I'm showing you Elite Client for Minecraft 1.21. Uh, to get it, you can head over to their Discord page right over here. This is going to be linked down in the description below. Uh, here you can read up about the client. As you can see, it's a free open source utility client for Minecraft 1.21. If we head over to the releases tab over here, we can find the latest release, which is for 1.21.4. And we can click on this jar file here, and that's automatically going to start the download for us. Now, to use this, you also need the Fabric API. I will link this page down in the description below. You want to download the version for whichever Minecraft version you're using. In this case, for me, it's going to be 1.21.4. So judging by the fact that you needed the Fabric API, you can probably guess that you also need to have Fabric installed for, in this case, 1.21.4. If you don't have this yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, for right now, as you can see in my downloads, I have the Fabric API as well as Elite Client. And if you also have that, then you can press on the Windows and R keys at the same time on your keyboard. In the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data. Then hit enter or click on OK and this area should open up. If you want to go into the folder called roaming, then dot Minecraft, then you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. And you want to simply drag both of these right into the mods folder like that. Once you've done that, we can close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher and launch fabric for 1.21.4. So here I've launched fabric for 1.21.4 and now I'm just going to head into uh, just a random single player world and briefly show you what this client is all about. Alright, well directly upon loading into Minecraft, you'll notice that the client is definitely enabled. You can see that by the array list in the top right hand side, which displays all currently active modules and some information about the world in the top left hand side. So that's obviously uh, pretty nice, isn't it? Anyways, for right now, I'm going to show you how to use a client. So briefly, how to use it, you want to press on the right shift button on your keyboard. And that is going to open up this area known as the click GUI. It's a little different than a lot of the other ones um, that you see. But to be fair, a lot of the other click GUIs all just look like each other. And I'm a big fan of something that's a little different, even if it doesn't suit you specifically i like it a lot um so here we have different categories of utilities there is a combat section movement section player section world exploit render and then you can also search for specific utilities as you can see they're all listed here um anyways for these utilities for example in the combat section these are all of the utilities and we can click on them like that and that's gonna um expand a customization menu uh, as you can see we can toggle it on by clicking on this in these menus you can toggle the utilities by just simply clicking on that you can set keybinds choose to show it in the array or not and you've got some utility specific customizations as well as you can see some of these will have more of those than others so that's obviously pretty useful right because you have to manually toggle the utilities all through this method i do highly recommend setting some keybinds you can simply do that by clicking in this box over here for the rest this client should be pretty self-explanatory to be honest um so these are the sections up here then as you can see there is also two other boxes this one right over here allows for command execution there's a multiplayer section right over here where, in this case, you would have a player list, but obviously I'm not on a server, so, I mean, that's not really going to do anything. And then there's some simple credits of the client over there. Alright, I think they changed up the commands because I forgot how they worked. But basically, for these commands, you don't need a prefix, so you don't need a slash or dot or whatever. You can simply type them in here. These are going to be client-specific commands, so for the Elite Client. Um, we can just type in help over here, and as you can see, that's going to give us a list of the commands um, right over here. So we have the toggle command, bind, crash command, plugins command, transaction command, session command, and the vclip command. Oh yeah, so that's basically it for these uh, commands. They can be pretty useful. For example, the binding, uh, you can bind modules through this little terminal here instead of having to do that manually through here 
for the rest, we also have this config area over here. So basically what configs are is they allow you to save your settings. Uh, people often make configs for different game modes and the like. Um, so say we want to set a keybind for the fast build, we want to turn on a bunch of things that we can save that through the configs over here. Simply give it a name and it'll be saved. You can simply switch configs um, by clicking on them right here. And now a cool thing this client has is different types of configs. So you have configs that save modules, which are, well, basically the customizations that these have, but also different configs that save keybinds for these modules. Meaning that say someone makes a different config that you want to use for a game mode, then you can just apply your own keybinds config so that you will still be using all your own keybinds, but with the module setup of someone else. That's at least how I see this uh, can definitely be incredibly useful, especially if because for other clients, sometimes uh, configs, people switch up the keybinds for themselves and then it just gets annoying. Then there's some uh, online configs over here as well. As you can see, there's the default config. You can always restore that and then some more um, configs for servers and the like. So that's obviously pretty neat, isn't it? Uh, anyways, for right now, that was um, basically that pretty good client. I think I forgot to mention that um, a leech client is a continuation of Knight X client. Don't know if you've heard about that, but that was definitely a pretty good client. Um, and uh, so yeah, for right now, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, I guess, uh, and subscribe, of course. Yeah, so for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye!